and yeah we can go click ok all right so this is our grid in two-dimensional view if you go here you can see ij2d area okay so this is our grid this is the grid top okay you can see the setting here the scale y per x and then the field or the file the file name cmg builder one okay yeah if you want to use zoom then use this one zoom reservoir unzoom something like this or if you want to use pen reservoir right if you want to move okay wait a minute okay yeah so this is the setting you can see in ij to the area like this one so ij means xy ik means xz okay so we see the cross section of this blocks or this block of reservoir and then jk and even 3d view okay right 3d view so if you want to rotate for example use this one rotate reservoir this button okay this angle first maximize by scrolling the mouse okay like this one and then i will pen reservoir so i say the k will have seven blocks so if you count or maybe this angle quite difficult now this one so the the, the grid blocks one two three four five six seven okay seven in k direction and then in i direction it's quite easy i think one two three four five okay in 50 in size in length 50 feet and then yeah maybe like this for the j direction one two three four five 100 feet in length okay so this is our model quite simple okay later on we will populate reservoir properties in this model currently it, it is still blank no porosity no saturation no permeability something like that okay now we will set the the property by maximize okay here array properties double click okay yeah again so we are still in reservoir in model tree view you can see the grid already checked green color so it means we have completed the grid section yeah i i should mention that you can see the symbol of x red here red x icon it means we haven't completed that section yet so we cannot run simulation because the simulation is not completed yet it's not finished yet so we need to fill all the required data to complete each of this section and then we can go to the simulation okay so we need to complete this array properties because it's still x right here so double click and here we will set the properties we will populate our grids with property and only for start time go to yeah if you want to set the if you want to yeah set properties 
set some values in certain properties you you can select but basically we will start with grid top grid thickness porosity okay they will be first to be inputted okay and then first the grid top i will use for example 2000 feet okay in depth okay so the the grid top is at layer 1 okay quite makes sense and the grid top it at level of 2000 feet and then the grid thickness i don't want to use uniform thickness so i will give different thickness for each layer so for example this will be 5 10 in feet don't forget that and then 20 25 30 35 for example okay and then the porosity if you want to use uniform or homogeneous porosity you can use you just can input here 0 0.25 for example or 0 0.2 for whole grid but if you want to make them different you can input for each layer Okay, so for example, 0 0.2, 0 0.21, 0. Point, for example, this one. Yeah, because actually each reservoir will be vertically heterogeneous, right? Just to make it a little bit more realistic. And also the permeability, for example, 100. 27, 150, and then 122, 80, quite small here in layer 6, for example, and then layer 7, 100, or maybe 200. It will be quite dangerous because usually at layer 7, at the bottom layer, we will have water, and I will set that to be the case. And for permeability in J, usually it is equal to uh, permeability in I direction. So maybe I can right click, edit specification, and it can be constant or I can set equals I, but applies for the whole grid only and I should be defined first, all right? That will be easier if I use one single permeability in whole grid, then I can use this one equals I. So permeability in J direction will be the same with permeability in I direction. So yeah, it's okay. I will just make it a little bit more heterogeneous. So it's like this. Okay, and then 85, for example, and then this one, 55, 190. Okay, and permeability in K direction, usually it is 10% from permeability in horizontal direction. So permeability in K direction is vertical permeability usually it is 10 percent or 0 0,1 multiplied by horizontal permeability so for example it is 10 10 15 okay based on the permeability in i direction for example 12 8 5 and 20 for example okay so far so good all right Okay, yeah, again, you can also input for net pay, even the bubble point pressure if you want. Okay, you can set all these parameters, but I want to set the oil and water saturation. You can find, you can try to find 
if you go to the right, but it is easier if I just like this one. Now I'm in permeability K. So you can see here, it's also permeability K. So I can open the drop down menu and try to find oil saturation. Let's find oil saturation. This one maybe, yep. Oil saturation, there. Okay, usually we will have higher oil saturation at the upper layer. So I will make it 0 0.7 and the saturation will be smaller as we go deeper and deeper. So yeah, like this. Three, right? And only water in layer seven. Okay, and then of course, water saturation. Okay, water saturation. This one, I want to make the water saturation at lower at lowest value. For example, the Connaught water saturation, 0 0.15 still 0 0.20 and I want to set it to be 1, 0, 0.9 and forget about the oil saturation or 0, 0.15 so it should be 0, 0.85 okay please be careful here and then this should be yeah I think it's okay wait a minute it is 0, 0,5, so I want to make it 0, 0,35. Okay, the rest is gas saturation, but yeah, if you give oil saturation and water saturation, CMG will calculate the gas saturation. Okay, and this will be 0, 0,45. Zero comma five, zero comma three. The oil, so I want to set it at zero comma nine. Here, zero comma six. I mean, okay. So yeah, we have oil saturation, we have water saturation, we have porosity, and then we have the grid top, and then we also have the per permeability in I direction, J direction, K direction. So Okay. All right. Black corner value calculation. Everything ticked. And we can click OK. And now our grid is populated with properties.